everyone this is Hilda welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be creating a small dining area in my apartment and I'll be assembling the dining chairs ripping off the old colors sanding it and giving it a fresh gold paint this is gonna take some days and I'm ready for the adventure so let's get started here are the furnitures and I'm going to start unpacking them now All right, guys, I'm going to start assembling the furniture and I will start with the stool because it's the simplest among them all. To build the stool, I will need to first assemble the parts and then start screwing it afterwards. The stool is 90 by 32 centimeter in size and it came with eight screws four for the top and four for the bottom like i told you it was really the easiest just arrange it screw them and and that's it the same thing goes for the chairs i assembled the legs and the only difference was that the feet has to go in a particular direction facing outward and it was a bit confusing but then I found my way through it and installed it correctly. Now I'm about to assemble the four feet of the dining table and it came with four screws, four feet. It was quite easy, just very simple and practical. Just a summary, so all together I have assembled a dining table, a stool, a bench and some chairs. So now this is the time to get into the carpentry work and I'm going to be using this product as a power stripper to remove the old colors from the furniture. I will be using a hand glove for this product because you can't touch it with your bare hands. You will need a scraper, a brush, a sandpaper and a roller brush. And it's also necessary to ventilate the environment where you're working. You need to keep the doors and the windows open or be in a very open space where there's enough air coming in because the smell of the product is quite strong. It's advisable to use a mask. Now I'm painting the power stripper on the feet of the chairs and also on the table. And I'll let it stay for about two to four hours. And then I'll start scraping out the colors. Once it's been scraped out, I'll just go ahead and paint the primer on it to let the paint that I'm going to paint on it to stay very strong. When I finished painting the primer, I allowed it to dry and then I started painting the gold spray on it.
after spray painting it, I let it sit to dry for some time. And I want to show you, this is how it used to look before. And this is how it looks now. It was an amazing adventure and I really liked how the furniture turned out. If you really enjoyed this tutorial, please, I would like you to share it. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.